Hey guys, I'm back for another review. So, um, this time it's on the, well, the Trackmaster, well, not, well, knockoff. A Trackmaster, well, 2013 or 2014 knockoff of Trackmaster Douglas. Because, you know, the Tommy one is too, well, expensive, how much it costs nowadays, but that's not important. I might get it, but I don't know when, but that's not important. Um, so, uh, I got this from Amazon. You can also find one of these on, like, um, uh, on the AliExpress website. I found this on Amazon. We can take a look at the box. The whole thing, you know, the even though it does have the official price and hidden entertainment logo on the side. And they do come in official Thomas and Friends packaging. Yeah. See? It's quite different from the other boxes that we were used to. Like the Play Rail and Tommy ones. If you Remember, so let's not lose any time and 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 uh, and let's open them up. Alright, let's open them up. So, Alright, now that's out of the way. We are uh, about to get into the box this one like so. And, uh, All right, now we open the box. Here's the typical. Here's the usual instruction manuals of, of how to like turn on and off the engine, how to put a battery in the engine. Well, I mean, there are like literal these instructions. Yeah. All right. Let's get this one out of the out. Let's. All right. Now let's just get this out of the way. Alright, first up is the the model. Now um 
uh, it has a uh, the only difference is that um, the whole area is like one piece that's one piece that's not good. but if you look very closely see these two holders here yeah the original one did not have this and the the front and back areas are shall we say a pinkish reddish color as you can see yeah and uh, this is just like a regular track regular and you know the holes in the wheels thing the stickers it doesn't have it doesn't have window stickers, but I'll fix them. It doesn't have window stickers, but I can fix that and probably like do some do some touch ups or something. Yeah, like I usually do. And uh, the name plates, the stickers, they're alright, I guess. I mean, that's all I gotta say. Apart from the face, it's just the regular, the 2013 or 2012 or 2013 versions had this face. I can't really tell why no one likes me. Likes, I mean, they just give it something. And as for the tender, it doesn't have the plastic axles. It has the metal, these metal ones or plastic ones. And I mean, these things don't look too. And also, if you, the stickers on this one's okay. Alright. The same, the pinkest thing is the pinkest red buffer bean. Yeah. It's a bit. The covering is a bit fine, and uh, strangely, the the back coverings are a bit like stiff or something. I mean, I mean, but hang on a minute. Before we do a running session, I mean, um, a test run of it. Right. Run of it. Let me just um, let me just bring it. Let me bring Donald here as a comparison. Now, uh. Now, from the Tommy and the knockoffs, you can definitely tell the difference between them. You can tell from the faces. From the faces. To the bubber beams. To the size of them. Well... Somehow, like, now, the Tommy ones, as we all know, different, because the, the Tommy ones have, you can look up the boiler and not, are like, and they're like, you can know, if you see this, this chassis here, like a special feature for them. And this chassis does look a bit the same, but it's not. And it looks 
different from the other chassis. Apart from the different seat detail stickers, well, well, Donald does have sticker, does that window sticker, so that's not, but yeah. <coughs> and also the back as well. I mean, yeah. I mean, the couplings are a bit different, so it's kind of a, you can actually spot the difference if you really want to know. The back it, it doesn't have the the holders here, so yeah. And uh, it's and the whistle thing and the safety valves. I think they're a bit shinier. I'm not sure, but I guess they look more. And yeah, I guess. And the tenders don't are very different. I mean, sure they may. Look. I mean, the bluff would be. You can definitely tell they're different from the. Tell they're different. The front, the back, even though it's slightly the same. Well, um. If you take a look closely, you can you know the end parts of the tender tenders are a little different. Maybe not different. Even the sticker details. The sticker details and the wheels. They're quite different. Yeah. Okay, and it compares to the side, side, I don't, what are you guys' thoughts on the knockoff versions, because, oh, and also the coal load's a bit different, because you can definitely tell why. It, it's a bit higher than this one, so, yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, it is quite fun. I mean, they're Chinese knockoffs, so what do you expect? But, I mean, you're given one anyway, so it's not a big deal though. And some people actually buy these for, or just use them for spare parts. Like, I might use some knockoffs or syrup hearts since, you know, whatever when I mentioned that I might have to change the Trackmaster 2 wheels. Yeah. I, if you remember the video, the talking about video I made on that topic, so go check out if you haven't. So, anyways, enough, oh, I, enough of the whole Boy Valley thing. I think it's gonna check and see if it runs or not. Oh wait, I just remembered something. Um so before I can forget, um let me unscrew this. Um so just in case if anyone's probably wondering, I sorry if I haven't uploaded anything that much or uploaded any Thomas content because uh well I just wanted to do some other videos for the channel, so like Minecraft, Angry Birds, Free Flow, Geometry Dash, gaming video, no, the gaming videos, and some videos, some games I played. I wanted to show you guys that I played from my childhood, so yeah. Oh, yeah, and also, oh, sorry, also, um, fun fact yeah, these screws tend to fall, tend to fall out if you unscrew them, yeah. This never happened with the, with the, uh, with the, uh, well, the Tom, the Tommy and Trackmaster 1 versions. And because, uh, they had something holding the screw in. Yeah. 
Yeah, they had they had a some something to hold the screw in. So yeah, so it doesn't fall out. Or you can just yeah. So yeah, just a bit of a heads up. Oh, and also whenever I mentioned yeah, this entire thing is like unlike the Tomy versions. This is entirely a one piece. It's a regular flat flat type drive unit. Yeah. A regular flat type drive unit. Apparently all the knockoffs have this one. Though not all of them, I'm not sure. I think. But not sure, but yeah. I'm not sure if it runs or not. That's not important. But I guess we should test it out, see if, if it runs or not. And plus, they these motors don't look very good, so maybe. Oh, well, it's a little bit fast, so yeah. And <clears throat> sorry, I had a cough. Um, and in case you really want to, I don't. I mean, it's not. I mean, they're just a bunch of. Well, you could just use them for spare parts. I mean, they do a bit. Some people think they're a bit. Well, apart from the plastic, um, I think maybe. I mean, the whole, like, it's a bit dangerous, I think, if you break anything, but that's, I mean, if some people could, can ask, can tell me about it in the comments, because I would go that way, I don't have to get confused a lot, so, so, yeah, and I'm not sure if it runs or not, but, I mean, I, I mean, at least you're giving something, so... So, I mean, let's see if it runs, because... I mean, it's a running testing video, so let's get started. Alright, now it's time for the test run. Let's see if it works. And I think it runs on the track pretty good. I think I might. You know, I might put a front coupling, but I'm not so sure. But, like I said, I don't know if I want to or not. I'm a bit, well, I don't want to break the model, so, yeah. I mean, I've already, I try my best not to break anything, so, yeah. And, uh, I mean, well, the look was, well, it looks alright. That's all I got to say. It's fine. Though the couplings are a bit flimsy at times. I mean, the front back coupling on tender might be a bit flimsy, so yeah, I guess. I mean, no one really likes the knockoffs that much because of, well, if I don't know. I mean, it's because they're not very like the Tomy ones are, well, superior, so. 
like I said, I mean, like I mentioned, I think if I can remember correctly, I did mention in my Donald review that I would get the knockoff versions of version of Douglas. I mean, at least I have them now. So yeah. And well, what do you guys think of the knockoff version or the re or these this knockoff version? I mean, if you have seen knockoff videos before, Trackmaster videos before of these models, bootleg or reboot models or something. Um, look, it was back in like 2013 or 2014. I could barely remember, so yeah. So, um, I'll just give him a 8 out of 10. He looks alright, but, I mean, the Tomy ones and, the Tomy ones are kind of superior, to be honest. And, now, um, I think it's time to end the video, so, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. What are your thoughts on the, and tell me what are your and tell me what are your thoughts on the on the Trackmaster knockoffs, because I would like to know. But please no like negative stuff. No like very but just remember if you remember my first post, I have a lot of rules, so please try to follow them. And please be respectful, so yeah. And also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. What are your thoughts on the knockoff Douglas? And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, goodbye and farewell. I will see you guys next time. Take care and stay safe.